Um, Luke, first of all, obviously you've uh, been out, out with the injury. What's the yeah. latest on that? Um, yeah, it's all good. I'm, I've been back training this week. Um, it was it was not as bad as we first thought. Um, so, you know, my, my hips looking good now. And, and like I said, I've trained this week, so ready to play. And uh, it seems to me every time you play, you're always more than happy to put your body on the line. Uh, yeah, I think it just comes with the sport, you know. Um, it's a contact sport, so, you know, the, the, the more you can do, the more, um, the more contact you get, the more you stand out. So, you know, I, I, I try and get involved quite a bit. But obviously hoping now a, a good long run in the team. What are you expecting from Montpellier this weekend? Um, you know, it's a typical French side, you know, they're all big. Um, and they're playing well at the top of their, their table, so you know, it's going to be a big clash here. Um, for me, scrum-wise, we know they've got a heavy pack, so um, hopefully we can get on top of them in that area and, and maybe get, get a couple of nice line-out drives um, and, get on, yeah, and get on top of them. English champions against the French leaders, it's uh, got all the uh, makings of a classic, hasn't it? Yeah, it should be. You know, we, we did we did a good job when we went away to their uh, went away to their place. You know, we got the win, so hopefully we can do the same in front of our crowd. Um, hopefully, you know, we come on the pitch firing and, and we play our game and, and put put it on them. So you know, it should be a good, a good game. And from the psychology point of view, I mean, there is a slight difference, isn't there? Because they can afford to lose. They won't want to, but they can afford to lose. You can't afford to lose, can you? Um, you know, you can never afford to lose lose in any any rugby game. Um, it's like we say week in week out, we, we concentrate on the next game and, and every game we, we strive to get the win. Um, you know, there's sometimes in games where you are slightly behind and, and there's, there's certain things you want to go for, losing bonus points and, and then to get the win. But, you know, like I said, if, if we put our game on them and, and we perform well, um, like we have been in the Premiership recently, um, I think I think we'll do a good job and it'll be a tight game. Uh, what about you, Luke? Happy with your own fall? Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm playing right. Obviously, it was a bit, a bit annoying to get the knock um, against Leicester and then have last week off. Um, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a, a big injury like normal, so so it was good. And you know, I'm just happy to be back playing, uh, getting a few few games together. I was out for a while, so so now to be back on the pitch, playing with the guys, and, and you know, had, had a few starts. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm sure it must be uh, more than the back of your mind that the Six Nations is coming up. Is that something you, you're targeting? Something you want to get involved in? Um, I think as a, as a young player who's been involved before, um, I think, you know, when I first came back from injury, I was concerned, obviously, I'm getting back and starting. Now I've done that. Um, you know, it'd be nice. I think I think most boys would like to be there. Um, I'm just concerned on playing well and training hard here, and, and hopefully they, they see something good in me and, and they, they might pick me. Because it's difficult, isn't it? Because you're up against the captain uh, for that uh, for that place in the uh, starting 15 for, for England. Um, yeah, you know, you don't really look at it too much like that. Um, Obviously, Yendall's the captain here, and um, and I think it's just the way you train. Obviously, I don't really look who's captain, who's not. I just try and try and train hard, and you know, if I if I get the opportunity to go away, I'll do the same there. I'll, I'll train as hard as I can, and I put myself in, a, in obviously the best stead that I could to, to play. And in the past, there was this feeling that maybe England uh, didn't uh, come and. Uh, uh, didn't come down and have a look at team guys as much as they should, but that seems to have changed a little bit with Eddie. And uh, obviously, there are quite a few players involved now uh, internationally. Um, yeah, I think it's just you know how how the boys are performing week in week out um, in in the Premiership, um, the, the way we're doing and the way we're performing. Um, the you know the results we're getting against certain sides. Um, you know, it's only a matter of time where you, you sort of have to come down and have a look. Uh, there's a few guys maybe who who has, hasn't been performing so well recent seasons, you know, they're, they're now peaking. And like you said, we've got a fair, uh, fair few guys in there now, which is exciting, you know. It shows the younger guys coming through that, that they, they can hit that standard. For example, Sam Simmons straight away didn't really start too much last year, starting a lot this year, and now he's playing for England. So um, I think guys like that, you know, are really showing the younger guys what's about. Uh, and it's good and refreshing, obviously, that uh, Rob sees that, and he's more than happy to throw a young swing to the side if they're doing well, isn't he? Yeah, you know, with Rob, I think he gives everyone a chance, and definitely, he's definitely high on training standards. You know, if you train hard and, and, and you know you're working hard in the gym, on and off the field, um, you know, he will give you a shot. And I think Simo's one of them. He does train real hard. Um, he's very noticeable around the pitch, um, and I think he's been given a chance. He's taken it well. Yeah.